Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the MSR Workshop. So today's video is going to be a install video and it's going to be a little tech review as well. So I think you guys will really enjoy it. So stick around. So if any of you YouTubers out there have your own YouTube channel, you'll know that a lot of your time is spent um, not just shooting videos, but actually editing that content. And so people end up having you know, different forms of workstations. But one common complaint that I've heard is not enough available ports to plug things into, whether it be your USB or speakers or just different kinds of things, um, but also easy access. Um, people that are Mac users especially, they'll know that a lot of your ports are back on the back. And then with the new arrival of the M1 Mac uh, desktop computers, they've really cut out the amount of available ports on the back. So one kind of cool thing that I found online is this guy here. And what is this? I'll show you. So what I have found online is this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open the package and I'll show you exactly what it is. This is a mountable USB docking kind of station. So we have two USB 3.0 ports, a USB type C, and a couple different card reader slots. And this will mount flush into a desktop surface, making it really nice, which gives you a lot more port options, but it also makes it so you don't have to get behind your device to plug stuff in. So we're gonna get this installed, and I'll show you the process for installing it. So the first part of this install is removing this ring here. And this is the ring that we'll need to measure the outside diameter of. And then this will fit inside. Now you'll notice this area here. This is also nice because then I can fit cords um, and other things through my table at the top. So taking this ring off, we're gonna measure the outside diameter. And let's start in millimeters because a lot of this stuff is made in China. So it looks like it's gonna be right at about 59 millimeters. Now just to be on the safe side, I would probably take a 59 millimeter Forstner bit, put it in your drill press, and um, drill that hole and see how loose it is. Okay, so the way we're gonna get started is obviously clearing off as much stuff as you can. Now, most of the time you're going to be installing this on a desk that will probably be too big or too messy. You've got too much stuff on it that you're not able to move it out into your garage. So I'm going to show you how to do this inside with the minimal amount of tools, being that it is a drill and a big Forstner bit. Now, measuring this came out to be about 59 millimeters. So if you can't find a 59 millimeter Forstner bit, which is going to be kind of hard, um, I came up with a two and three eighths. Now this is gonna be as close as a good fit that you can, and I will show you how to make the fit a little bit tighter if you feel like there's a little bit of slop in here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to mask off of our area and do some measurements to get this position exactly where we want it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and drill a small hole all the way through. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can align my Forstner bit from the bottom and from the top because I'm not drilling all the way through. One thing with Forstner bits is when you drill all the way through that last little part of the bottom, it tends to tear really bad. Um, even though it's underneath the desk, I still don't want to get tear out. So I'm going to drill from halfway from both directions and that's going to prevent any tear out from either side of this desk.
now that we're through, go ahead and peel our tape off. And you should be left with a fairly clean hole. Now, if there's any tear out around the edges, don't worry too much about it because our insert is a lip. And it will cover up any little bit of tear out that is on the other side. Let's see if this works. And it does. Now it comes with an available power cord too, so you can use this as a charging station. So if you want to plug your phone in or something while you're working, you can. Now because it's hooked to the computer, you should be getting power through it as well. Now this fits a little bit tight, so I would just recommend putting your finger on that when you're pulling it out. But that's it. I will throw a link into the description below to this desk if you're interested in picking one of these up. Also to this little USB hub here. And if you guys have any questions, be sure and leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.